Hello, 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 and welcome, replay viewers. <laughs> this is me trying to set up <laughs> before we get going. So today I am talking about why my husband made me cry, uh, all to do with my birthday and a surprise. God, the lead for this mic is never ending. Hang on, let me just plug this in, and we should have better sound. Let me just check that. Please let me know. Can you hear me? And can you see me okay? Uh, that would be great. Let me go here. All right, fabulous. Uh, I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, and before I do, let me just finish my lipstick. <laughs> I did tell you. I'm just setting up. This is what things look like behind the scenes sometimes. So um, I have a very, very, very important message to share uh, with you today. Um, because... Whoa, here we are. Here's the thing, right? Is I I do really love surprises. I love surprises. And, you know, but sometimes you get surprises and they're nice. And sometimes you get surprises and they're not so nice. And sometimes you get prizes that are amazing, okay? And actually, this Saturday, I had one that turned out to be amazing. <laughs> and uh, so my husband, he... And there's a reason that I want to talk about this. It's actually very, very important it is relates to our lives. It relates to our businesses, um, you know, because it's all about the, the the whole thing of, you know, if you've ever been in situations where, and, and look, I have, right? I have, uh, where you felt bruised by life, where you felt cut to pieces by other sharp words, uh, where you felt scared to be seen. Now you might be thinking, Una, you're not scared to be seen. But believe you me, there was times that I was, and, and even so there's levels within this, and that, that's what I wanna talk about here today. So what was the surprise? You're probably wondering. So my wonderful husband, he, um, he got us tickets for the Hugh Jackman show. Now, I didn't even know it was on. It was on in Manchester Arena here in the UK, which has like seating for over 20,000 people. And we were sat right down in front of the stage, uh, just a few rows back from the very, very front. It was a phenomenal show, absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you are planning to go to the show and you do not want any spoilers, then save this video come back a little bit later and I'm going to, because I'm going to share some of the things about the show, but I'm then going to talk about the lesson. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the text that goes with this video to let you know, fast forward to this point if you don't want any spoilers, because I don't know about you, but I hate spoilers. Let me know <laughs> if you hate spoilers too. Um, I hate knowing what's going to happen. I guess that's part of it. I love being surprised. I like something to be new and exciting. And this show really was. And first of all, can I just say, Hugh Jackman, 50 years old, he is fit as flip. <laughs> he really is so fit. And um, like he was, uh, he, I don't know how much energy it takes to do a whole show like that. Um, all the songs, all the dancing. Um, I guess he did have little breaks in between because he was sharing his story as well. And I think that is really, really important, okay? That... Um, Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already, please share this out. I just want to um, share this on my timeline as well. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically, um, he was shared all these stories. He talked about his wife and his family. He talked about his time. Uh, you know, he's Australian. He talked about a uh, time that he spent in, in his summer holidays at uni uh, up in the kind of out in the outback, working with the um, ab Aboriginals, and he he had some um, people there, uh, the the female representative of that, and who was sharing. Oh my god, it was just amazing. But here's a bit that for me was the highlight, was the absolute climax of the show because Hugh was brilliant right I really enjoyed it and everybody you know the atmosphere was electric it really was but the best the pièce de résistance for me was when uh, uh, Kiala I, I hope that's how you pronounce her name Kiala Settle was introduced to talk about her audition you know the workshop and uh, and she came on stage and she sang the song This Is Me 
everybody got on their feet. Everybody. It was, I had tears coming down my face. I really was crying. I, I can even feel it now. I was so emotional. Um, and, and in a good way, in a way that was like, yes, yes, everybody was so connected to this song. Let me share some of the lyrics with you. I'd love to sing it, but Facebook probably wouldn't let me. <laughs> and I couldn't have to, it's just as, as uh, Kiela does, obviously. Um, but here's some of the things. I, I'm not a stranger to the dark, hide away, they say. Um, I, I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars, run away, nobody will love you as you are. So coming kind of from that to, you know, when the sharpest words want to cut me down, I'm going to send a flood, I'm going to drown them out. I am brave. I am bruised. I'm who I'm meant to be. This is me. Right. And further on, um, you know, she's saying, I won't let them break me down to dust. And, and I kind of, it's not that I want you to be going, I'm going to prove it to you. That's not what I'm talking about here, but just, I'm not going to let other people and not just other people, but our subconscious thoughts our subconscious beliefs that, that we may not even be aware of, or, or maybe you are, if you have a lot of the negative self-talk going on here. Um, and I just, this whole thing of, I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there is a place for us, for we are glorious. <laughs> and they're saying, you know, look out, because here I come, and I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. And I just get shivers down my spine when I hear those words. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. This is why I put together Unleashed, Unapologetic and Unstoppable. Because that's exactly how I want people to be feeling and acting. They're marching to the beat of their own drum. They're not trying to be somebody else. And the thing is, is like I was there and one of the reasons I got so emotional is because I was feeling, yeah, I still have some work to do with this. You know, I've, I've made some big transformations, it, even just in the last year or so, obviously image wise in the last few months. But, but you know, it's, it goes deeper than that. And it's really about us being congruent that you know, that we know what is the drum that we beat to, what sets us apart from other people, and yet also what connects us. That, that connection, that feeling of connection was absolutely palpable in the arena last Saturday. When she was singing, her emotion just was pouring out, but not in a way of, oh, I'm so emotional. Oh, I've been through all this stuff. It wasn't like that. You know, so I think which sometimes singers can kind of force the emotion. For her, it's just natural because she's just open. She's just being who she is. And it was joyful. It was wonderful. Um, her vulnerability, her strength and her vulnerability combined just really allowed us to connect with her and to connect with each other and Oh, I wrote that sea of emotion and her amazing, talented singing. It was fabulous. I did not want her singing to end. I really didn't. It was just tremendous. So thank you to my wonderful husband for an amazing gift. And the, here's the interesting thing. This is why we've got to be open to new things as well. To be honest, if I had seen, I mean, I really like Hugh Jackman and I loved The Greatest Showman, the you know that film. Um, to be honest, if I had seen that show advertised, and I actually hadn't, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have gone, oh, let's go to that. Yes, actually, going to it, it was brilliant. I loved every minute. Um, so do be open to things as well. So my question to you is, you know, what, what drum are you beating to? Are you holding yourself back from being seen? And and I've been kind of figuring some stuff out in recent weeks. I have been a little bit quieter on social media. Um, and that stops now, by the way. <laughs> You're going to see me a lot over the next while. I've got a lot to share. Um, I've got a lot of messages that I want to communicate. And I want you to help me do that. So if you haven't already, please click to make sure that you're notified of my videos. Please comment below with what you think of this. Please share this out because, you know, we need to make some change. We cannot have impact without growth, 
right? I was talking about this. I'm discussing my branding and everything at the moment. And uh, I had a meeting on, uh, not Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> it's a bank holiday here in the UK. Um, and I was talking about this. And, and just really, this is the thing, is that if we want to make a, a bigger impact, and pretty much all my clients, that's one of the things they talk about. They want to make a bigger impact uh, we have to have growth. We need to grow as people. We need to grow our businesses um, so that we can, you know, do all these wonderful things and, and, and have the meaning that we want and uh, have the impact that we want as well. By the way, if you don't know who I am, <laughs> I just realized I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Una Doyle and I'm the creator, I'm the founder of Creator Flow TV, a business strategist and mindset coach for creatives. And look, here's the thing, you know, what, is, what does that mean? You know, there's so many different coaches. Well, creative entrepreneurs, they hire me to help them to um, attract and convert their ideal soulmate, soulmate clients, you know, four and five figure clients, but without selling your soul. And I'm on a real mission to eradicate the epidemic of undercharging and over delivering that I see in service based businesses. Um, and here's why, okay, because there are so many business owners that are undervaluing themselves and what they have to offer, and therefore they're usually not charging enough. Um, they often have never been taught how to run a business. And it, I, like I did a business degree, and yet when I came to run my own small business, I made loads of mistakes. <laughs> So what chance have you got if you haven't even done that and someone hasn't actually shown you the ropes? Um, and, uh, and you know, sometimes people can feel a bit kind of, ooh, nervous or icky about sales and that. Um, and that makes a massive difference. You know, you cannot get your work out there and make an impact through your work if you don't actually get to have clients or have enough clients or have clients at the right kind of caliber where you get to do your best work that you can be really proud of. So what I do is I help people to, to be able to value themselves. I've got an amazing mindset shift tool that totally gets rid of the emotional baggage and allows you to shine through, like just, just in the way that, that, that's why this song resonated so much with me. Um, so it allows you to value yourself so that you can charge what you're worth and get it. I help you to put in place the elements that you need in order to be able to have sales just be a really natural process and, and, and conversation um, that is really comfortable for all parties concerned. Um, and also to know how to identify how you can best run your business, okay? So that you are, you really get to understand what what is it that, um, you know, that works for you and what doesn't work for you. So you don't get caught up in trying to do things like, like everybody else. Okay. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to end it there. I'd love to know what you think. So please comment below and uh, make sure you look out for more. And I'll pop the link in the comments for Unleashed as well, in case you want to go and check that out. If this has resonated with you, you know, the, the, um, uh, free content that I give. I just really want to make people think and give them practical tips and all of that. So make sure you click to like the page and get guest videos if you haven't yet. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.